Welcome back. I'm Helen Roshkut and you're watching Visions. If you've just joined us, we're talking to Philip Benwell, the chairman, the national chairman of the Australian Monarchist League. And we're talking about the constitutional monarchy. Welcome back, Philip. Thank you. So, if an Australian republic is inevitable, should Australians agree on a republic, republican constitution during the Queen's reign? Well, in the first instance, obviously, I don't believe a republic is inevitable. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, Republicans are already talking about a republic during the Queen's reign at this present time. Uh, they've been doing so for the past 20 years. And in fact, uh, recently, in recent times, the first uh, time that a republic was raised was in 1958. Mm with Rupert Murdoch, who said, I think it's about time that we had a republic in Australia. So, I mean, it, it's uh, 50 years that this uh, thing has been going on. And yet still, the republicans cannot tell us what sort of republic they think that Australia should have. Mm -hmm. They've tried an appoint, uh, a, um, appointed president style. Uh, they're thinking about an elect the president style. So goodness knows what they're going to come up with. But whatever it is, nothing, nothing they come up with will better what we've got now. And if anybody can come up with a system that they think will be better and better protect the democracy and the freedoms that our current constitutional monarchy can currently do, mm. then let them do so. That's right, while protecting the voice of the people. Exactly. Yes. So, with regard to overhauling the federal-state relations system, do you defend the role of states when monarchist politicians such as Senator Barnaby Joyce and Tony Abbott have called for functions fulfilled by the states to be devolved to regions? Well, I don't agree with uh, Barnaby Joyce or Tony Abbott uh, mm -hmm. in this regard. We have a three-tier three system of government, the federal government, the states, and local government. Yes. And, and that's probably too many politicians as it is without adding more politicians yeah. to the pile with uh, a bloated bureaucracy and, and all sorts of things like that. If we are going to look at our, the system of, uh, of federation with the states, uh, we all know that there are areas of dysfunction. But that is mainly because the necessary evil within our system are politicians. Mm. And politicians do nothing but politic mm. instead of getting down to the job of governing. Mm. Mm. If we're going to look at streamlining the system, we should perhaps remove some of the politicians. If we're, go if we're over governed, reduce the number of politicians, mm. increase their workload, increase their efficiency, not add another tier of government. And furthermore, by the purpose of Canberra looking at regional governments or amalgamating local governments into regional governments mm. is so that they can bypass the federal system, bypass the states, fund regional governments and thereby control regional governments so that they can then centralize power into Canberra. That's not what our system's all about. Because our federal system is based on checks and balances. And whilst the states may act in ways that we don't want them to act, mm -hmm. because of their, the incompetence of our state governments, let's not destroy the system of federation, destroy the checks and balances within our system, just because of the inadequacy of the people that we elect. Mm. Well, that's a really good point. So, although you are a monarchist, wouldn't you concede that even if Australia became a republic, our democratic liberty will still be preserved? Well, if we became a republic, uh, we'd still get up in the morning and have breakfast and uh, eat and drink and <laughs> go to work and then come back home and so on like that. Yeah. The we'd sky won't fall down. The sky won't fall down. <laughs> but what we would have done in becoming a republic would be to transfer the power of the nation from the hands of the people, as it is now, mm. being reposed in the crowd, yes. into the hands of politicians. Mm. 
Mm. Now, our first uh, presidents will probably be academics or people that would be acceptable to the general populace. But then the politicians will start to take control. Mm -hmm. And that's where our system will break down because whilst our politicians are, are elected to govern, they are elected only in a temporary capacity and most fail. Mm -hmm. Most fail. Yeah. But the crown continues, and that's why we have a stable, secure system. But if the politicians are in total control of everything, mm. then the system will begin to break down. And polit the, the, one of the main uh, uh, priorities of politicians is their own re-election. Yes, this is true. In the last year of, of most governments, it is dedicated to the re-election of that government. Mm. That is their priority. And so they will abuse the system to be re-elected. Mm. They can't do it totally at the moment because the power of the nation is held in the crown. Yes. But if they hold that power, then that's when the sky might fall in. Yes. And I can see this is your very great passion. It, 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 it is a passion because I believe implicitly that if we become a republic, we will be getting rid of a system that has guaranteed the freedom and the democracy of the Australian people for over a hundred years. And, and I think that is a tremendous achievement. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we owe a lot to the uh, founding fathers who drafted our constitution because they put in place a system that works, that yes. keeps politicians in check, that yes. keeps politicians from absolute power. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all about. I mean, we live in a, what I think is the greatest country in the world. I think we are all privileged to live in this country. Mm -hmm. Let's not destroy what we've got just because a few people may not understand our system or worse, may not like the fact that it is a system we've inherited from Britain. Yes. We've got to look beyond that. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Philip. We will go to break now. So as we go to break, stay tuned. We'll be back in a few minutes.